Hello, it's Goomba here, and today I wanted to talk to you about Uniswap. How do you use it? How do you get those 10x, 20x returns? How do you get those gems? Uh, it's fairly easy, so let's go and find out. So one of the first things to do is to get MetaMask installed. MetaMask is a, an application which links your wallet to various dApps. So you go to the website, you have the options of downloading it for iOS and Android, I believe these are beta versions. I'm gonna go with Chrome, but it's also available for Firefox. So you just click the install uh, button and it takes you to the Chrome web store. Here you just click the add to Chrome in the top right. You agree to add the extension and you should see in the bottom left, there you go. The extension is now downloading and will be installed. There you go. So now the um, extension is ready and you have to go and create a wallet or import a new one. Or import an existing one, sorry. So what I'm going to do is create a new one. Um, so here's a little um, disclaimer about the risks you're taking and, you know, being aware of what could happen. Uh, in my mind, it's pretty safe as long as you handle your seed uh, phrase and passwords correctly. So you create a password for that MetaMask account. Um, let's go with the... Sorry, I can't type. Doesn't match, obviously. Sorry, one second. I don't want to record this again, so just bear with me. Bish, bash, bosh. Okay. All right, so let's go through. You are shown here a, a backup phrase, your seed, which is currently blurred, but if you click on it, uh, it will be displayed, and the advice is to back it up. Uh, you have a few advice on the right on, you know, best ways to back it up. You can't memorize it, but I think storing it somewhere in a physical state is, is pretty good. If you don't want to do that just yet, uh, you just click on uh, Remind Me Later, and you can move on. All right, so let's go. Here's a warning about, you know, this is something you want to keep and not share. So this is what the wallet looks like in the first instance. And the first thing to do before being able to trade or to swap is to find the wallet. So I click on buy here and you have a couple of options with wire or coin switch to just buy ETH directly and get it delivered into your wallet. Or you can just do the usual uh, deposit uh, operations using QR code or by simply uh, copying the address here uh, and, e and sending the ETH from your usual wallet. Uh, up to you. So another thing to note before moving on is that you can also connect your uh, hardware wallet to MetaMask. If you have a Trezor or a Ledger, you can just follow the instructions there to use the funds directly in those uh, physical wallets. Um, I haven't done so myself, but I hear it's fairly easy. And obviously you get uh, increased safety and security by doing so. Okay, so now I have a uh, ETH wallet connected to MetaMask. It's funded. There's a few um, different tokens in there. Um, that's an old wallet. And I actually know that there is some tail tokens amongst other things in here, but it's not displayed by default. So what I can do is I can add tokens um, and I can use the search field. If it's not available in the search field, what I do is I go to coingecko.com. I look for the uh, coin uh, that I'm uh, trying to add. And here there's a link to Etherscan. And if I click on that link, um, it takes me straight to the page with the, the detail for the contract. Uh, it's actually the contract address, which is what I'm looking for. Um, so I copy that contract address, put it back in there. I check that the token name and decimals are uh, the same as on Etherscan. And next, add token, and there you go. I can see the relevant tokens in the wallet now. You don't really need to go and add all the tokens in your wallet. Um, you know, they are there. It's only if you want uh, peace of mind. So now the next step is to go and connect to Uniswap. Uh, so please check which URL you're using. There are two which you can use, uniswap.org or uniswap.info. Um, and you get on that landing page. And the next step, if you've done all the previous ones, is to click on launch the app. And this is the, the screen you will see. And now we just need to simply connect our wallet 
to the exchange. Uh, because we have MetaMask, if I just click on connect to wallet here, it gives me a few options. Um, wallet Connect, I've used with the Trust uh, Wallet, it works. Coinbase Wallet, I haven't tried yet, those three options I haven't, but I suspect they work just as fine. We'll go with MetaMask here, so I just click on MetaMask. The little um, screen pops up, asking me which wallet I want to use. Uh, I've registered two here currently with MetaMask. I'll go for the one which is funded. Connect. And it's now connecting. So MetaMask knows exactly what's in this address and has the keys to do any kind of transfers and, and swap tokens. So there you go. We're now connected. But before uh, we do our first trade, a couple of things I want to show which are interesting. There's this analytics dashboard uh, provided by Uniswap which shows you the activity on all the tokens um, on the exchange. You have volume, uh, the most traded pairs, and so on and so forth. It also allows you to navigate to a given token to find the contract address to make sure you're sending your ETH to the right contract address. If you don't, you know, that uh, ETH is as much as, as good as gone. So down here, if you scroll, you can see the latest transactions. And if you were to monitor that, that would be a good way to see what are the uh, Uniswap uh, wells buying lately? Uh, for example, just an idea. You also have that search field at the top, um, which allows you to go and see what the particular token is doing. So let's go check Wi-Fi. And you can see the, disc the um, safety alert there. As I just said, if you were to send ETH to the wrong token, you can kiss goodbye to that ETH. Uh, so that's what that uh, alert is about. Uh, and we can see what are the main pairs traded. There's even a little charting um, widget there, which is pretty good. Again, at the bottom, which one is the uh, real contract? Um, make sure you get that right before you, you go further. So going back to the Uniswap interface, another thing to know about is the settings. Uh, there's a couple of settings you need to be aware of. The first one is the slippage tolerance. Um, if the transaction uh, price is higher by a certain percentage, um, then the transaction will be reverted or cancelled. And same, same thing if it goes above, above the threshold or transaction deadline that you've chosen, the transaction will be uh, null and voided. So you'll get your ETH back. Um, so with that in mind, let's go and see if we can do a trade. So the first thing to do is select the token you want to swap your ETH for. You have a search bar here with all the most popular uh, contracts. But if I want to go and find Tail again, I know it's not there by default. So I need to do the same um, manipulation earlier. Go back to CoinGecko, uh, navigate, find the token, um, navigate to Etherscan, and this way I'm sure, or you know, fairly sure that the contract I am picking is, is the right one. So here is token, it is Telcoin. I'm going to copy the address using the little copy button. Go back to my Uniswap and just paste it in there. There you go, Tel shows up. I get my little uh, warning again, make sure it's the right contract. That's very important. Uh, click I understand. There you go, I can swap ETH for uh, some Telcoin. Uh, so I'm clicking on max here. There you go, this is a maximum transaction I can do. I'm gonna reduce that. Um, and then go for the swap. So 0 0.01 ETH gives me 9,983 uh, Telcoin. Click swap. Uh, yeah, that's right. Click swap. There you go, confirmation screen. I'm gonna click confirm and then MetaMask is gonna pop up and allow me to edit the gas fee there. Uh, gas fee has been an issue on Uniswap lately, uh, on the block on Ethereum uh, as a whole, and gas costs have been going up, so you get the chance here to make sure your transaction uh, get prioritized and uh, goes through. So there you go, that's the first transaction there. Uh, you can see here if I click uh, up there that I have one transaction pending. So if I go ahead and click on that little uh, one pending uh, button. I can see the transaction here. I can go and check as well on Etherscan um, if it's close to confirmation or not. All right, let's go through another example. Let's say I want to go and uh, find Ohm Mantra DAO that everyone's talking about right now. It doesn't show by default on Uniswap. Uh, if I go check directly on Etherscan just by tapping Ohm, I don't think I'll have much 
success either. So what I like to do uh, to make sure I get the right stuff is go to CoinGecko, type home, I can see here, Mantra DAO. So I click on that, it's gonna take me to the page. And then from here, I go back to Etherscan. And from here, I can find the contract uh, in the top right. I just copy that, go back to Uniswap and enter or paste uh, the address contract the smart contract address into the search field there you go home I click on add so now it's in my uniswap interface and when I go into my token choice if I type home now it's there so I can go and trade that um, you're keeping a bit of f for gas payments um, and this time I'm going to show you how to edit the um, gas fees actually so confirm the swap, the MetaMask pop-up comes up and I click on the edit there uh, in front of gas. I'm gonna go for average, but I don't think it's gonna work actually. Lately, only the fast payments uh, goes through. And confirm, there you go, close. All right, so I've actually made a mistake in the making of this video because the, f the gas fees I've paid are too low and the uh, transactions are now stuck. So you can see this one is like four hours. Uh, I have another one which is two hours and yeah, another one at two hours as well. So my recommendation, if you were doing, um, you know, Uniswap trades right now is to go and pay for the fast fees. It's pretty high uh, right now, but you know, there's no other option. Um, hopefully this video helped. Leave a comment feedback below and we'll see if I do any more in the future. In the meantime, stay safe, keep your funds safu, and see you on the other side. Goomba out.